Smell spider. It was early 2016. The internet became inundated with thousands of people sharing the tragic story of Olivia Jane Mabel, a Texas mother who was reportedly found dead in her home, seated in front of a shrine dedicated to her deceased son, Aiden Travis Mabel. On the morning of March 13th, 1990, Olivia, Aiden, and husband Travis were at their home in Salina, Texas. According to reports, Travis went to look for his son Travis after not hearing from him for an abnormal amount of time. Travis looked for Aiden in the family's sprawling backyard. He finally found the boy, laying face down in the small lake on the property. Aiden was dead. After Aiden's death, arguments from out of nowhere seemed to erupt between the couple. Travis and Olivia grew apart and Olivia became increasingly reclusive. Travis couldn't deal anymore and ultimately moved out of their Selena home, but Olivia stayed. In the years leading up to the discovery of Olivia's body in 1994, she was scarcely heard from or seen. On February 27, 1994, Olivia's body was found in her home. Police entered the residence after receiving several silent 911 calls from the house. She had seemingly been dead for months already and was found sitting in front of a makeshift shrine in Aiden's bedroom, which was the only room in the house that had been cleaned and cared for. Inside the dead mother's hand was clutched a crude doll made from sticks and Aiden's clothing. On the shrine was a cryptic note that read, My Aiden, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I should have never let it get like this. I'm leaving. I will not let you keep me, you vile, evil creature. Mommy's coming for you, Aiden. My sweet Aiden. Mommy loves you. The altar was filled with letters and drawings 
as well as possessions of maidens. On the front of the shrine was a Sanskrit word that apparently means to construct or to build. After Olivia Mabel's shrine and cryptic note was discovered, rumors began to circulate that Olivia had made a tulpa, or the mystical being born out of pure mental concentration and her own will. Some believe the tulpa to be the vile, evil creature mentioned in Olivia's note, and that feeding the entity her own energy is what led to her death. But did any of it happen? While many people actively believe or want to believe the bizarre story of Olivia Mabel, many have come to the conclusion that the whole story might just be a hoax. Here is what we do currently know. No obituaries or death certificate filed under the name Olivia Mabel, Olivia Jane Mabel, or her maiden name is listed in any records. However, there is an investigative report filed with the state of Texas. A death certificate for Aiden Travis Mabel Jr. does exist but its authenticity is unverified. Aiden's date of birth is listed as January 18, 1983, and the date of death as March 13, 1990. Death by misadventure is a common term used for accidental deaths wherein only the deceased party was involved. Aiden's death certificate is signed by a Jackson Roten Earl the Undertaker. There is a Roten Funeral Home in Carrollton, Texas, located about 40 minutes driving away from Selena. In the final analysis of this document, it is worth noting that his mother is listed as Olivia Renee Harper. Selena, Texas does exist, but the address of the residence has been redacted from the documents related to this case. Though I couldn't find any listings that fit the description on any real estate sites, some reports claim that the home is now owned by one Christopher Hagen and it has been put up for sale and been on the market for 22 years. No family members of the Mabels have ever been interviewed or contacted for information or insight into this case. The father, Travis Mabel, is possibly the most undocumented person in the story. Though some report that he moved to New England and remarried before Olivia was found, but no records or social media accounts can be linked to anyone that fits his age, name, or background. Many people do believe in tulpas, that they exist and are integral parts of certain mystic practices. But they can take one's grief, for instance, and conjure evil entities that feed on their energy. But there is no evidence indicating that Olivia had any knowledge of these mystical practices and beliefs. It is reported that before her reclusive period, she was an avid Christian churchgoer. There is an official website dedicated to this case and finding answers. On this website is a number to call with any tips or information about the case. On the same website are audio clips 
that claimed to be recordings of press conferences related to the case given by investigators. Though the website features several audio clips, I've chosen to play one here that kind of sums up the whole gist of this case to me. It comes from a male voice, unidentified but possibly Travis, when asked for an interview. The speaker urges the listeners to stop digging. He was out of her mind. That's all you need to know, okay? The boy is dead. Simple as that. Just stop touching. 